Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to make your very own hobo do-it-yourself canteen and cook set. Stay tuned. So most of you are familiar with this canteen and cup cook set. And it's just a standard US canteen carrier. Of course, the plastic bottle. And then inside, stainless steel cup. Uh, this one does not have the butterfly handle. It has the other type. But uh, again, just a, a great thing to have and to cook with. But what if you were in a survival situation and you didn't have something like this with you? How would you make your own? Well, in a video that I did some time ago about a do-it-yourself bush pot for bushcrafting, and I'll make sure and put a link up here. And that bush pot looks like this. Use the lid, of course. It's got a little bit of a paper clip for a lid. And you use a safety can opener to open this up so there's no sharp edges. And I show you how to make the bale handle and also how to fasten this on so that you not only have a bale handle, but you also have the ears here so that you can use this for cooking and drinking and all of that. But there's some things you can do to make this a complete set. So let's get to that. So now that we have our bush pot all made, how do we complete the set? Well, it's a good idea. We've got this metal lid for boiling, as I showed you, but you can also get a plastic lid. I'll give you a close up on that. So the plastic lid, as you can see, fits right over the top. And what this does is this gives us now a completely airtight and watertight container. And for storing, as you know, any plastic lid that will fit on the top will also fit on the bottom. And so we can just store it right there. Now it's very important that you take this off when you go to cook or boil anything in this. And of course, remember, as I told you in the video, you have to put this in a fire and burn out all of the plastic BPA coating that's inside. That's very important. I haven't done it to this. Uh, this is just the one I made for the video, but I wanted you to see this for demonstration purposes. So this plastic lid is the first addition that I would make to this cook set. It just makes it a more viable container. Okay, so now that we have that figured out, the next thing we need is what kind of a canteen are we gonna use? Well, in this size of can, which is roughly about 30 ounces, and I showed you in the previous video on how to make this, the size, if you will get a one quart bottle, this is actually a Gatorade bottle, and if you'll get a one quart bottle, and of course rinse it out and wash it off, uh, this is a nice thick plastic, it's heavy duty. And interestingly enough, is even with these pieces of bent over wire here for the bail handle, this still fits very snugly down inside, comes out quite easily. So now we have our canteen, we have our cook set here, we can snap the lid on the bottom, and then of course we have our boiling lid which can also fit underneath. Well how do we carry it? Interestingly enough, you can use a bag of any kind, but if you're just doing this for bushcraft and for practice and you're trying to save some money, you can get these fairly cheaply in a lot of places. And this U.S. Canteen uh, cook set uh, bag, the old Alice uh, type, will fit this cook set perfectly. So we're going to put the metal lid first down in the bottom. Of course we have the plastic lid snapped on there. And we're going to put it inside and make sure it's all the way down to the bottom. Just like this. Alright, what's really cool about this is you can still snap this and uh, can get a little finicky but if there's plenty of room get your thumb in there snap that together and now we have a proper cheap do-it-yourself hobo canteen and cook set doesn't make a lot of noise it's quite secure you can carry it on your belt you can find bottles and cans anywhere and so if you tear it up, you can easily replace it. I know a lot of times we've, we accidentally melt things, so if you melt a Gatorade bottle, you're not gonna be crying too much. 
So one other thing that I want to add to this video is, let's say you don't use a large can, like the one sitting behind me here uh, that I put inside of the canteen. Let's say you just have a small can. Well, you can do the same thing to this small can, and this one has been burned out and cleaned, but as you can see, it has the bail handle. Now, it doesn't have the little ears fastened on with the uh, hose clamps, but this will work quite well, and I've used these for quite a few years and have my students make them. And if you have a can this size, this is just a standard small soup can, uh, you know, corn, beans, all that comes in this, but a standard half liter bottle, 16.9 ounces, fits in here perfectly. Just like that. And once again, canteen, cook set. So this is a lot cheaper plastic, and it's not nearly as heavy duty as the Gatorade bottle. I know if you look around, you can find a heavier duty bottle than this. But this is just a really great survival thing, as I said before. And again, it's a really cheap cook set. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, and you certainly aren't going to have a huge amount invested in it. Okay, so that's it. We now have a cheap canteen and cook set that'll do the job and uh, last quite a while and once you burn it out or melt the bottle you can just find another one laying alongside of the road or around a creek or wherever in a trash heap this is a great survival skill it's really something important that you need to learn how to do and uh, if you can't find a canteen cover like this there's a lot of other bags that will work that you could tie on your side and will still carry this but I just wanted to show you this because I thought this was kind of a cool addition this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And referring to those links, I'd like to give a big thank you to all of you who have supported our channel by coming to classes, by buying our merchandise, and by supporting us on Patreon. Also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button and select all notifications so that you can be notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time. Also, if you haven't done so, please check out uh, <clears throat> and if you haven't done so already, and if you haven't, <clears throat> and if you haven't done so already, and we'd like to thank all of our Patreons and supporters, people who have taken care of us this year, we really want to give you a thanks for a great 2019. <clears throat> And when you do check out those links, I'd like to give a big thank you. And for all of those who, I can't and also this. for uh, supporting us on Patreon. Gotta stop the others. Uh, <clears throat> and when you do check out those links, I would like to give a big thank you.